Market Hub. Buy, sell, list, connect. Hello and welcome to Real Talk. My name is Cornelio O'Dwyer and we're at the Fahrenheit Loft on Aki Ogunlewe in Victoria Island for the grand finale of Real Talk. Join me. On Real Talk today, we have Chi Girl, TV host, comedian, and overall entertainment personality. Freeze, popular Cool FM on air personality. And Dean Rele Adun, TV presenter, host, and VJ. Chi Girl, this drink that you have been sipping small by small, finish it so that you will give us more. Hi, guys. Ah, what, <laughs> Hello. Wow. Oh, shit. Hi. Hi, ah, ah. This is Ronald. Hey, 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 you're always so hype. Sweetie, no, you're ageless. I thought I was bad. And stainless. It would be Thank you. I you down fire. I want to call 911. Where's our phone? See, I thought I was bad. <laughs> Thank you very Somebody's much. But you worse. came with your bundles. Mm, bundle what do you have on then, there? You do I'm, have some nice edges, though. Let's hope that freeze drops that. Today is World Stealing Day, though, so we have to just. Let's <laughs> World Stealing Day. We have to steal that off you. <laughs> and I trust you from the other side of the table, just spiritually take it. <laughs> I doubt it. I don't know if I like it, though. I don't know. What, no. what is it? Freeze drop this down back. We're going to talk about cheating. I mean, it's been bothering me for a while. There's like a. Uh, comfort level that we've gotten to, I think, in Lagos, Nigeria particularly. Mm. I want to hone in on Lagos and not like the world at large. Mm. We've gotten so comfortable, both men and women, with infidelity and cheating. So I f feel like probably we, maybe we are not even defining, we're towing the lines of what cheating is. So let's get a little bit pedestrian and define what cheating is. So I'll throw it to you, Demile. What, do you, what would you define as Lagos. cheating? You have many kinds of cheating in this Lagos, so this wonderful <laughs> metropolis of Lagos. Okay, I think I'll just pick someone as a typeset, you know, like a very close friend of mine. I'm, I'm sure everyone knows her. Banana Island, new house. Yes. We're going for the housewarming very soon. I hope you're like very yeah. interested. Yeah. Her. She invites me. You know she's invited. I'm inviting think, you. I don't think I'll be considered for an invite. <laughs> no, I, you are following us. I'm talking about Linda Cage. I mean, everyone knows her. And I recollect back, back, back then she was dating this very popular OAP. And I mean, they were seen everywhere together. Everyone just, oh, match made in heaven. I was just like, oh, Linda, I didn't know you were into bulky American men. And you know, and she was besotted with this guy. Ah, and was that Dan Foster? Somebody like that, freeze. Please chop the knuckle. Yes, that person. And you know, they were supposed to get married, you know, and Linda just told us, oh my God, he just proposed. Like, ah. he, I, I think he even had the proposal, you know, mapped out at the cinemas where, you know, oh there was music playing in the background. And she was so like, she called us and told all of us, hey, wedding oh. dress. You know, we went to the designer for food. We started the whole stuff. And then I think planning the wedding, her supposed wedding, another wedding was going on. And then she just cited the invitation somewhere. Oh, this brother marrying one very other wonderful young black lady. Ha! And you know, Linda was just, and she didn't even know that there was something else happening on the side. She was just, you know, and I was just wondering, how on earth didn't you know? Mm -hmm. I mean, for crying out you are a very sharp Igbo girl. Her Igbo name is the former. <laughs> you know, but the long, long story cut short, I was just trying to say, you know, it can happen right under your nose and you just won't even know. And if a wedding is in the works and then there's another wedding happening, ah! You know, it can happen to anyone. Yeah. So we're not all going to justify ourselves and say, oh, we haven't cheated at some point, or we haven't been cheated upon, or we haven't considered cheating, or we haven't ever thought about it, or it hasn't crossed our minds, or we don't know people who are cheating on who, or we don't know marriages that are cheating on relationships. It happens every single day. Story for the gods. No, story of our lives. I want to take you back to the point you made about, you know, the blogger that, yeah. you know, well, literally, happens, Foster, yeah. literally happened under her nose. <laughs> and you kind of question, because when things like that happen, everybody asks, didn't she know? Yeah. You know, so are there actually telltale signs that people maybe don't see or signs that, come on, how could that really have happened? Oh, signs that we want to be blind Yes, blind to. Well, I think and there are... You know, we're very hopeful You as women, especially sometimes. We <laughs> listen, as women. Listen, Wait, let me, listen. Wait, let me, let me hear where okay. she's... I think she's going we somewhere We as women this. sometimes, mm -hmm. you might see a hint of a red flag, mm -hmm. but you want to believe in your mind that mm -hmm. this person is not going to do this thing so to you. So give me an example of a red flag. It's What's like, like a red let's flag? say, for example, you have... Your partner talks to you any old kind of way. As a woman, and you might also have insecurities in your own self, mm -hmm. which is why it is, it is, it is the utmost that you are self-confident, right. knowing who you are in your own skin and you're comfortable mm -hmm. for, so that somebody cannot just come and then want to now use mouth and you words. And the bullshit hits so it, yeah, exactly. To, you just, to because smell. you will still be BS yeah. from a mile mm -hmm. away. Right. You know what I'm saying? But when you have insecurities, that's when you start doing... Mm. Mm. Right. You will, have, you will lament mm. if that's not in your yeah. own. Oh, it's like... <laughs> 
<laughs> but in the public, I don't want to look like. Right. Then maybe your friends are getting married. You know, you have done bridesmaid eight hundred times and one ash baby. You might want to do your own wedding. So. <laughs> just, so let me switch it to you. So have have you been cheated on? Um, did you have any like telltale signs that were like, okay, I should well, have known that? Wow. Um, she girl, brace yourself for this uh, one. Oh, I really, you're so. Ah, this and, one is um, a serious matter. For for some legal issue reasons, I beg your pardon. I'll try to filter a bit just mm -hmm. for legal mm -hmm. issues. I wish this came after the legal issues. Then I'll give you my bare mind. <laughs> but Ooh, I have been girl. cheated upon. And uh, it's not the nicest of feelings, especially mm -hmm. when, you see, I was saying earlier on, we're a very hopeful nation. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know they're robbing on the way home, but yeah. you pray that you don't get robbed. Yeah. We're very hopeful. And it, it comes into our relationships too. You see your girl coming home at 11 o'clock, but you're hopeful that she didn't go where she was not supposed to be, even though she closed at five, and you've been trying to call she her all the way from five to 11, yeah. and her phone, conveniently one very famous <laughs> relationship you think that wait hold on i just want to defend some of those you let me know, give you this story let me if, give you this story sorry if a woman has lost interest yes. and she's avoiding you yeah. i don't think that that's the same as cheating so we're asking for now if this woman signs, is yes. supposed to be in a marriage no. is that you see, boyfriend, girlfriend, you're tired of the relationship. Look, I'm tired of this relationship. But then you talk about it, though. But you talk about it, I understand there are respectable times for a married woman to come home. Mm. But if this isn't happening every day and it's like occasional. When it happens then, five times a week. Right. That's not occasional. That's, 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 that's not occasional. That's on her way. She's on her way She came home early occasionally. Mm. She needs a return ticket. She came home decently occasionally. Right. You see? And uh, there was one story I remember. And I was like, okay, why were you not picking your call? You're, it's 11 o'clock or 10 o'clock, and you know, why are you not at home? And why are you not picking your call? And I remember the excuse, they were robbing on the road, so I put my bag in the boot, and the phone was in the boot. Okay, but that's, that's very plausible for Lagos. So fantastic. Let me, let me that's on a Tuesday. Now, the same thing happens on a Wednesday. Wednesday. Yes. The same thing happens on a Wednesday. If, if, if this happens every day of the week, mm -hmm. you will get tired. Mm -hmm. I remember buying a. 2K phone and putting a SIM inside and say, I don't mind if they steal this one. Pick this one. And now there's going to be another story. Oh, you want to, you know, it, it, you, once you see the signs, right. it's all often too late right. to salvage that relationship. Right. A lot of people don't know. Uh, they, they, they try to um, put their best foot forward and save what's left of it. But usually from the time you start seeing that someone is intentionally avoiding you or giving you stories, you just call the person and have a nice, you know, drink and a meal and say, you know what, nice knowing you, nice doing business with you, mm -hmm. see you some other place. Or else it will turn to or continue the cheating. So I was going to throw it to you and I was going to say that um, emotional cheating, okay. when you don't, you know, everybody has this thing of, oh, marry your best friend. Sometimes it works for some people, sometimes it doesn't. If you don't marry your best friend and you need to vent to somebody outside of your partner, now, as a woman, I'm not sure that I would appreciate my man venting to another woman. Do you agree with that? Well, I think everyone needs someone to talk to. And, you know, I, I like to think that you're either naturally trusting or naturally suspicious. Now, if you're in this sort of relationship oh, like and that. there's yeah. a lot going on and you need to talk to someone, there always has to be someone you have to talk to. You know, and then, of course, I want to share this with someone. I want somebody to understand and hear from my point of view so that I know that I'm not running amok or I am not trying to be oh, the only person the you are, in the, though. you know? So that, that, that happens on the side. Then again, <clears throat> now every girl likes to know that, ah, okay, this is happening for me. I am getting this from this angle. I'm getting this from this angle. I am getting this from everywhere. Every woman wants to feel independent. And they don't necessarily see it as cheating. Oh, I'm not necessarily, you know, going to bed with this person. But this person is giving me this. Or oh, this person is giving me this. So in some sort of way, I just Wait, share sorry, emotions I'm assuming that this sentiments. girl that you speak of is a single chick. Yes, okay. a single chick at mm -hmm. that. Yeah. Oh, I'm just sentimentally, not just emotionally yeah. attached yeah. to this person mm -hmm. and I can get what I want to get because again, you know, we, oh, this guy's like my best friend. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Yes. So, <laughs> and then, yes, you know, yes. as you said, you know, I guess the point yeah. where and then the yeah. gazing comes yes, into the matter. Yes, you'll be sitting down on a couch, you're sitting down, come mm -hmm. to my, come by my come, place. Come by my he place. just upset me, so you leave your house. I need a to, new phone. Yeah, I need somewhere to go mm -hmm. and sit down. Mm -hmm. Maybe, maybe it might be the period where your ogre is having, there might be a bit yeah. of a windfall. Yeah. Things are not really where they're supposed to be. So maybe you do need a new phone. Take something as simple as a phone, for example. So you who, as a woman, your body's doing you scratch, scratch, you know, I need a new phone and he's not able to provide one. So you know that there's always this place you can fall back, fall on, back on. Because this person Speaking is... Speaking of new phone, if, is, you, if somebody gave you a, a, an inappropriate <clears throat> gift 
and you were in a relationship, would like, you consider that one of the foot? leading... <laughs> it depends on yeah, how you have it. Like it's it's a gadget. It's a yeah. gadget. Well, you see, mm -hmm. it now, if somebody gave me, let's say, First of all, I want to have like if if so, you yeah. and, and land, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like How about that? How about that? Yeah. 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 What I'm saying wait, is wait, this: wait, so wait, people are actually getting land. Like guys are giving girls. I land. say people yeah. are yes. full. Wow. Ah. My whole destiny is set. My future to those is set <laughs> off of one dude. I'm telling you, where can where are they? Please, where are those guys? So do you think that if if you, I mean, land is extreme. So in the case where a girl is in a relationship like a and she gets a phone, okay. also a bag, some something gadget expensive. Or some but you see. From another uh, but from, from yes. another guy. That if you accept it, that sort of encouraging uh, a relationship. I would say yes. It's disrespectful to a man. It's disrespectful. It's disrespectful to any man. I don't even care if you are a cement bricklayer. Mm -hmm. You have a woman in you, in your house mm -hmm. or who, who's with you, mm -hmm. right. and all of a sudden, so you're, she's now throwing your, let me call it. Your, honor, honorabil your inabilities mm. in your face. Well, assuming that's an exclusive relationship, because mm -hmm. let's define this very well. Yes, she's exclusive, lady, like, like this you is, said. Yes. yes, she has guy who's buying her credits. She has that, that's, no, that's, that's, that's different. Yeah. That's right. different. Right. That's how different. Yes, right. you know. right. that's different because I'm assuming that I'm assuming <laughs> that I'm yeah. assuming that not one of not 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 near one of these guys assumes he's your one and only. Right. Yeah. Now, if any one of these guys well, I'm, might be... I'm at guessing the, that, please, you're looking at this as an exclusive relationship. Yeah. I'm looking at yes. this as an exclusive relationship because mm -hmm. I wouldn't handle <clears throat> a girl that I'm casual with. I wouldn't give her a name. Yeah. My, she's my, she's nothing to me. She's just That's someone it. I'm casual What if casual you didn't with? know you were casual with her? What if she gave you the impression that there was something going on? Well, I, I've been down that get, road before, mm -hmm. too. You know, she could get right. wristwatches and, from. Uh, mm -hmm. And um, uh, I've been down that road before. And um, I met a girl once a long time ago who told me she was a uh, private jet air hostess. Hmm. There ever was something like that. And she oh, had a lot know. of money she was throwing around. <laughs> so I was like, of like the like opinion <laughs> where, where the that, like that? Where is you know, she was actually this. Mm -hmm. Do you know this girl was unemployed? She would dress up, <laughs> wear ah, air hostess like uniform. That's very well, no. She actually had the clothes. Yes. Okay. This girl was dating four married men oh and God. two single guys. Oh, shit. And they were all her boyfriends. Powerful Lagos big girls. Including you? No, not me. Okay. A friend of mine. Okay. Please. <laughs> let's, let's clarify that. I don't swear. <laughs> I can't for that. Like, I caught that Okay, chick. so let's, let's, let's fast forward this to when you've actually been cheated on. Yeah. Is that a deal breaker for you? Um, for me... Personally speaking, mm -hmm. um, maybe it's because of just where I've been. I think that there's never say never. Mm -hmm. It depends on what your attachment to that person is or was. And it could just be, you could just be upset. And once that anger dissipates and the person is honestly, truly wanting to behave, mm -hmm. you might just go like, yeah, well, let's back. do it. No, but, no, I wouldn't. Maybe it's because I just, first of all, I take so much energy. I don't have that mm -hmm. time or energy right. to plot. Mm. I, I'm not a plotist. So do you so, agree with once a cheater, always a cheater? Um, no. Everybody's redeemable. Okay. Everyone is redeemable. Okay. Mm. I think a lot of women need to know that, though, because I think we're very harsh with the... Yeah. If you know how to say, if he slaps you, he's always going to yeah, beat you. But I, I mean, no, with the violence every, thing, is maybe, but Everyone is redeemable. Yeah. You And everyone... Everything can be forgiven because at the end of the day, you just never, we all have skeletons in our closet. We all have so issues. Redeemable is it? Is it <clears throat> seventy times seven? Well, I, when I say when I say you see the thing about it is, everything depends on how much you can take as a human being. Mm -hmm. There are some people who just get walked all over all the time and they get back mm -hmm. up and mm -hmm. they get walked over all over. It's, you know, it happens. Mm -hmm. Some people don't. One time is all it takes. Some people have been in relationships, the person comes back, and then once they are comfortable again, they start to misbehave again. Right. But you, as you tell yourself, I'm, this is who I love right now. Right. So you, because it's, it's just not, it, the society will tell you, you're you are so silly, you're stupid, my friend, you're Elena, you should my, shy your eye. Mm -hmm. But in your heart, this is who you belong to and who belongs to you. So you will take it because that's, it's you. It's a personal story. I have to say, because I've been in that sort of um, relationship where, you know, there was someone who I was dating and I just thought, okay, this was the person. She's married now with kids though. Another popular OAP. I don't What's going on? No, you shouldn't mention this name because I'm about to break the ice on this one. And Six, at the point three, I met her, she, you know, regular go to school girl. She was in the polytechnic. And then I just, you know, I looked at her and I said, you know what, I think we need to, let's, Let's work together. Because I was in the industry then, but you know, I was a regular hustler in the industry. I got her into modeling, and then all of a sudden, all the campaigns started coming in. And then from the campaign, she just started to look, ah, what am I doing with this small right. 
I beg you, when I'm meeting ad agency bosses and I'm meeting, you know, and there was a time when Akon came to Nigeria, very first time. She was one of the usherettes selected to headline all the other ushers. Ah, she just felt, I've met Akon now. I have arrived. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I had planned a getaway on my own side. And I was really, you know, all three were always prepping, do this, do that, do this, do that. And then she just calls me one day and is like, please, you know, I don't have time for this. I'm working, I'm busy, you know. I didn't have to start reminding her, oh, you yeah. tiny winch, I carried you to this place. Yeah. You know, and then it started, I could, and then I had to call her mom, because her mom was very in the know of what was going on. Yeah. And I'm when I said, um, you know, Titi will still come back to her senses. Oh, I just said her name. Ha! Oh. Okay. Oh. She will come back to her senses. You didn't get that name. Good. No, she'll come back to her. And, oh and then Lord, at some point, that. I didn't see her for like a month. You know, she had stopped going to school. She was a, like an official big girl. And then one day she just drives to my family house. I was in the house that day. You know, ah, you know my parents were always asking, so what happened to Titi? We didn't even hear anything again. I said her name I again. I need you to filter that name. And <laughs> then she just drives in like in a very wonderful car. Mm -hmm. She drives in with someone sitting next to her. And then she comes and she says, oh, she just got a car. You know, oh, I see you haven't even gotten a car yet. Oh, oh, oh and then that's, oh, there's somebody in the car. The person won't come down, you know, but, you know, the person just wants to just wave and say hi. And I, ah, I mean, I'm a very respectful person. Ah, Ross, how you doing? And are you? Ah, okay. Oh. So at this you point, know. did you still think that you were I in the relationship? You know, somehow, somewhat, I still imagined that I was hanging on to something. Mm -hmm. You know when you know you're hanging on to something? And I refused to admit to myself. You were that, hopeful. You know, I was hopeful. Right, right. Aha, back yeah, to you. Yeah. Very hopeful. And I was just Hope hoping somewhere, Hope somewhere that whoever it was that was in that car with her, whoever that must have bought that car would have just said, okay, you know what, I'm just, you're just with me for the ride. Mm -hmm. And then, but she just came, gave me the impression, okay, this is, and she just left. And then I was still stuck. And everybody was wondering, you know, everyone's like asking, what happened? What happened? I don't understand. You know, and at that point, we just, you know, kind of let go. I still thought in my head that she was because there. You're, you're you know, I, th because this is someone I started with and we're together for a very long time. I still thought, oh, this person is still here. This person hasn't gone. This person would find, retrace her steps and come back, mm. you know. But it did not happen. And then I just woke up one morning and said, okay, oh, no, no, blood of God. We have to move on, you know. And here we are today. Um, at what point um, do you decide to leave? Like, when... When did that become obvious for you to say, I'm done? Um, it's a very wonderful question because I never got to that point. I had to be left mm -hmm. oh. before I realized that, okay, it's over. Mm -hmm. But no, I didn't close. go back. Right. That was the one manly thing I did. I didn't go back and I didn't accept a refund or a re, mm -hmm. uh, replacement. Nah. You checked out. I checked out. But I didn't have the courage to leave. And a lot of people are in cheating relationships. So I'm not saying, I, I don't really want to throw too much light on mine for whatever it is. But they're in relationships that they're not comfortable with, but they are not strong enough to leave. Mm -hmm. And I've realized that you don't need marriage to be happy. Mm -hmm. They don't know it. Mm -hmm. So they go into it and come out. Then they agree. But they want to taste it first. Right. Most single people. But if you've ever been in a marriage... But I think it is something to desire, though. I don't... I, I mean, I understand what you're yes, saying. Yes, it's something But to I don't desire, think that it's a crime to it's, desire marriage. It's, yeah. it's, I don't it's, think it's a crime. It's not a crime to desire marriage, but it's a crime to believe that it will solve all your problems. And uh, people believe that if it's you get married... Crime, that's just well, let's be honest with you. To be honest with you, in the society that we live in, if we look at Lagos, marriage does solve some problems, even for guys. There are a lot of happily married yeah. people. Let's not even... Yeah. Or you know, so they like us to think. So they like us to think. so they like us to think. I believe there are some happily you married see, people. I've been through marriage, be marriage issues, and every single one of those people I thought were role models when they called me aside and said, look, we've all been through this thing before. I realize, oh, really, you've been through this? You've been... You see, it's, there's, there's a lot more you find out as you um, clock the miles, right. you know. And there's a, there's, 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 there's a lot more that you begin to realize you didn't know. Mm -hmm. So I would tell you comfortably that 15% of marriages in Lagos are good. Mm -hmm. Every other one is we pretend that it's good, that it's good yeah. right. while we deal with kids from other Yo. relationships. But isn't that the uh, natural course of life as opposed from, to pretending? You're not going two to Two people coming from here and there and deciding to now live together, see the same face every day for the rest of your life, wake up, have children, raise them, blah, 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 blah. There are differences that are going to arise. Now, but I don't it's think how that's do you pretend, deal with? That's what I'm how trying do you, to clarify. How do you? Yeah, that's I don't what I'm think saying. That when you face challenges, you're putting you, up a front you're because front. you're facing well, challenges. Some, yeah. some, some people now, do that. Now, I, I agree with Freeze to the extent where there are some people who 
and you there are people who will wholeheartedly tell you at least i'm married mm -hmm. he's slapping you for breakfast lunch and dinner at least I'm I'm married. Married. All right. then he will not buy you once again designer bones to cover your eye <laughs> at least I'm married. married. Yeah. But what yeah. the sad part is, and it sounds crazy, you're trying to put up a front, but everybody knows, knows. your story. Right. So who are you? Is it your, yourself you're deceiving, or is it the rest of us? You're, because everybody knows what the real True. deal is. You're, you're so, you're you've so right told on yourself that I'm, I'm covering up. Right. We decided to take real talk to the streets. How <laughs> 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 If I catch my wife with, 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 with another mass man, ah, I will be annoying you. I will just go and report to her to her family. That is what we said to do that. It's my wife. My wife is my wife. Since, since, since I'm married her, it's my wife. When your partner breaks away from your normal routine, you know, like he or she does something that you know, like they usually wouldn't do. She starts wearing sexier lingerie. You know, she wants to do different styles that you guys don't do. You know, there's something going on there, there's something wrong. Going on vacation with someone that is not your relation and is not your boyfriend, buying an expensive gift for someone I'm attracted to that is not my boyfriend. Well, if you think about it too much, as in if you if you keep it in your mind for so long, when the opportunity and the time comes, you will do it, definitely. Uh, I mean, it depends on the reason though. It's 50 50. For me, it's 50 50. I might, I might not. No, cheating is not a deal breaker. I mean, you need to know why your partner cheated, first of all, before you decide to break up. I mean, it might probably be your fault. H having sex with your partner and thinking about someone else, for me, that's messed up. I mean, it's really messed up. It's rather you're not there at all. <laughs> or it's, it's better of you watching porn. Men, they, they always say, they don't feature one, one soup and they like they like varieties. If a woman is married and she cheats, they will say an adultery. But if man cheats, they will waver. Uh, society they do pasha. Uh, they do pasha. No, if I catch my husband cheating on me, I don't think I will remain. Yes, why? Why? Because maybe who knows? He must have done it at this point of the moment. For instance, me. I, I don't stay most of the time around my husband. So who knows, he might be tempted one way or the other because of my absence. And I think because of that, I can give room for forgiveness. Come, come give my money. <laughs> don't let me miss my money. Uh, well, um, when someone cheats, should they be forgiven? Well, for me, it's going to be hard for me. Because, I mean, that trust is gone already. I can't can even allow, I can't even allow anybody to cheat on you like twice. I think that's crazy. I mean, don't don't ever put yourself into that in that position where someone will just throw you, throw, like toss you around like something. No, I don't. That's an abuse. Really. I, I I don't think that's that's even wise. Anyways, having sexual thoughts about somebody that's not my girlfriend uh, is that cheating? Man, I'm not sure. <laughs> Sorry. It would, it, yeah, uh, it's just thoughts now. I mean, I could, I could just fantasize. I'm like, ah, this is babe. Looking at porn. It's not cheating. No. Hell no. Going on vacation with somebody who is in Bay. Um, cheating. How do you even sell that? You go on vacation with somebody who is in Bay. Ah, that's, that's, that's a form of cheating. If I see TikTok, if I see him, I will come out. But if I don't see him, I don't get any problem. If I see him, I go ask him, why, do, why, why did he cheat? Is it now food or now? What did cost him when they come make and cheat? You have to explain. If now waiting, waiting, he talk is there is neighbor, I will forgive him. But I don't see any reason why a woman is supposed to cheat. Now a man can a man can do anything or do, but a woman cannot try it. If now husband, if now married, if now marriage, fine. Maybe the man not the fit perform well, or maybe the woman not the fit eat well. Uh -huh. If he go cheat, but any woman when the husband they give. The normal thing, food, the day how, and the woman, the man, they do and master. Man. Okay, even though the woman not feel do herself, the woman not feel because all we see the woman need the day house. Yeah. So I want to let me let me go back to um, cheating. I'm going to ask you guys a couple of questions in terms of what is just for the um, general audience out there, okay. <laughs> so that if you didn't know you were cheating, this my is cheating. Job, job, so I just need yes or no answers from you guys. Okay, so I'm just yeah, going to throw it out there. Yeah. So would you consider any of these a form of cheating? Having um, sexual thoughts about somebody else. Hmm. 
Is that a I mean, yes I and a no? I can't punish that. I don't know what's no, in your head, but no. do you think that that's a yes no? No, here's how I feel. Like I feel like yes like and a no. <laughs> it's a beef. So if you're desiring yeah. another woman visually, now here's what happens. Yeah, I, it's is she cheating. can't see your mind. So how it is it cheating? Is cheating. <laughs> on, According to this you tell her, if you tell her that, whoa, man. I wouldn't mind this girl, man. This um, Cordelia, Are for instance. Are you swinger? Is, Cornelia. Is just, Cornelia. Are you sorry. a swinger? It's so, it's, so, it's so this, that. You, yeah. And she says, shut up. Okay, whatever. And we joke about it and, and we move on. But then it's not ha, cheating. Ha, ha, ha. But you might ha 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 to ha. But after a while, you got to Cordelia's number. Because, because my girl has a couple of friends who I tell her that don't leave me with this, your friend. Mm -hmm. Are you passing a subtle message across? Yes, I know. That is not cheating. That is just that inappropriate is behavior, though. I, I don't have find that. That's not cheating. Are you going to break up with the guy? Now, because now, now, because I tell you, though, know, I now, believe you that something. if you are dreaming about sweeties, Mm -hmm. in, in her wonderful <laughs> glory that you will one day want you will one day hope to see <laughs> well, her see, wonderful glory and you might one day want to try right. her wonderful glory this is glory. how it works she gonna yes or no you can, you can yes, explain yes. Yes. Yeah, I love yes yes or no it is it is okay. but depending on my condition okay <laughs> why is there a condition do you think that it is um, considered crossing the lines or cheating if you um, go on vacation with somebody else off ah Yes, so that's what is a big yes. Yes, no, yes, 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 yes. Some guys play it off like it's work and, you know... It's good, kind of but you're in hotel rooms. <laughs> Hello? I can't sleep. What if you have separate I can't what if he sleep. Says they Can have I come separate? and watch TV in your room? What's wrong rooms? with your TV screen? <laughs> what's, of what's course they always book into separate Hello? rooms that have an adjoining balcony. Right, okay, so you're not buying oh, it. Oh, 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 want to take a smoke together? Yes, it's huge, yes. It's a hell of a yes. Two capital L. Crush you out. Would you confront Would you confront the side chick? No, no, I no, I don't believe on such things. Okay. First of all, I can't embarrass myself. What if you are fighting? I'm not. <laughs> Why embarrass you? Why? Because it's true. You never know what there's you're gonna no get need. with the I talk to so my guy. Yeah, because no, some because crazy I've seen things that have happened where a woman was mercilessly tore up at a foodie in Adani tree, plus booboo -boo torn to shreds because she came to fight the gay. The girl was on skirt suit and high issue and she beat this woman down. The side inside chick. the tray. Yes. Side, but it was not a, she just it assumed side it was just a side chick. She was a colleague. Assumption. And the woman was beating her. She was like, where did you know me from? <laughs> <laughs> That's how she was beating her. Mel Leslie. <laughs> <laughs> Well, thank you to all the real people who have been following the conversations. We hope you've enjoyed the show. We hope you continue to follow the conversation at Andani TV on Twitter and Instagram. Thank you very much for joining us. It's been wonderful. Yay! Woo! Can we Yay! Let's commit some actual cheating right now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> You're like, can you come and hop? Please, hop. Please, 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 Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, my name is Faz, aka Faz the Bad Guy. On today's lesson, I will be teaching you how to subscribe to the Danny TV channel so as to be able to watch more wonderful videos. All you have to do is click on this.